Hello guys, my name is Dean Gunther and welcome to my YouTube channel. Right, today I'm going to show you how I prepare my tattoo stencil and this is probably the easiest, most effective way of doing it. I'm sure there's many different ways you can do it, but for me, this is what works the best. Uh, it saves me loads of time uh, before the tattoo process. So I'm going to show you step by step and let's get right into it. Yeah! the image I'm going to use today for demonstration purposes only. First of all, duplicate the layer and then I'm going to play around with the levels and adjustment, uh, give it a bit more contrast. So as you can see I've duplicated the layer, head on up to image adjustments, go to your levels, usually take the mid bar, slightly turn that up a bit your highlights bump that up a little bit okay already that made a big difference and then you can play around with your colors you can either do it in saturation or for more realistic feel I feel go to color balance this depends if you want warm colder colors that's entirely up to you go to your shadows this is where you can make your colors a bit more richer just play around here, see where, how you like it. And I'll show you the before and after. That was the before photo, and this is the after. It looks much more rich. And you can go even further by playing with your burn tool and making certain areas darker or lighter with the dodge. So I'm happy with this image so far. And get rid of the old layer, and then I'll duplicate another layer of this current image now this is where I'll do the stencil it only takes a second head on up to your color bar make sure it is in the bottom left corner for solid uh, solid black and then head over to your filter and go to filter gallery you can just zoom out so you can see the whole image and you can find it under sketch and photocopy the darkness I leave on full and the detail this is where you can play around you do not want too little detail because your image will get lost and you'll just make it very hard for yourself you don't want too much it's too much black and you end up with too much purple of your stencil so find the in-between that works for you I would say I'm happy to work on an image like this that's fine for me if you're happy with that press ok and then as you can switch the layers on and off you can see I have a identical replica of the image and if you're happy with that you can use the burn tool and there's little areas like you can see by the nose you can darken you can darken it up by the mouth the tongue and just play around with it till you are happy and comfortable that this is something you can work off of it might look a bit crazy to begin with but once you get the hang of it it's really not that bad at all and if you want the image to face either way you're gonna have to flip it so mirror the image um, depending on where on the body it goes and that is it if you're ready to print go over to print and set your size and settings and if you're happy with that then you can print and that is your stencil guys this is the stencil machine that i'll be using this is made by paul porter i'll add his name in the description so you can see him on facebook and i've had this for over two years quite happy with it size is good I always run my finger along like this just to prevent any creases and there's your stencil perfect only takes a couple of minutes and you've got a perfectly good stencil Right guys, 
thank you very much i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you could learn something from this and that it can be useful to you thank you if you liked the video please subscribe like share with your friends and i'll see you soon cheers